More than 300 male students have been rescued from a school in the Nigerian city of Kaduna, where many had been tortured and sexually abused. Officers raided a building in a Rigasa area of the city on Thursday where the victims, including adults and minors, were kept in inhumane conditions in the name of reforming them. The proprietor of the school and six staff were arrested during the raid. Victims, including children as young as nine, were found in chains, padlocked to car hubcaps and stuffed in a small room at the facility. Some bore scars down their backs, while others said they were sodomized by their teachers. Police said the victims were of varying nationalities and that some had been brought from the countries in the region, including Burkina Faso, Mali and Ghana. This place is neither a rehab or an Islamic school because you can see it with yourself. Small children, some of them are brought from our neighboring countries, Burkina Faso, Mali, Ghana and the rest. And the children gathered here are from all over the country, across all over the country. They were here, some of them were even chained. They were used to humanize. You can see it yourself. He added that despite its claims to be an educational institution, the conditions prove that the facility was neither a rehab center or a religious school. The school, which has been operating for a decade, enrolled students brought by their families to learn religious teachings and be rehabilitated from drug abuse and other illnesses. Police had been tipped off by complaints from local residents who became suspicious of what was happening at the premises.